Stadium. We're ready for an AFC East battle between the Indianapolis Colts and the New England Patriots. Coming up, the starting lineups and the opening kick. How long is this? A 30 second uh, commercial? What's on the graphic now, G. Marie? Is it 38? Is it 28 mile per hour winds? Welcome back. Windy day in New England. 56 degrees, 26 mile per hour winds. Hi, everybody. I'm Gus Johnson along with my partner Brent Jones. The Indianapolis Colts are explosive. They've combined for 87 points in two games. Right now, they can do no wrong. Well, the biggest difference in the offense this year, a new addition, a baby brother to add to the triplets. They're now the quadruplets. Jerome Pate and Gus coming in and taking charge, leading the team in receiving. It keeps defenses from overloading the side of the field to Marvin Harrison's side. And man, these Colts are tearing it up on the offensive side of the ball. Tom Brady getting his first start today for the injured Drew Bledsoe. Brady, the cool California kid. He had a lot of confidence when we talked to him. He said he's been running this offense since the day he walked in the door. Feels very comfortable with it. He's going to have to have some receivers make some plays, though, if the Patriots are going to hang with this high-powered offense of the Colts. All right, Brent, the series note, the Patriots lead the series 37-24. Endy, though, has won two of the last three, and the last time the Colts won here in Foxborough was in 1995-24-10. Jim Harbaugh, the quarterback for Indianapolis. So Hunter Smith will kick it off. New England has won the toss and have elected to receive the football. Kevin Falk, the return man, wears number 33, is back deep for the Patriots. A windy day, as we mentioned. Look at the flags. 28 mile per hour winds, but I would imagine, Brent, that uh, at the top of the stadium, it's even windier. Yeah, and that's going to really be an advantage, Gus, for the Patriots. This vaunted passing game at the Indianapolis Colts could be slowed down going into that win. So here we go Indianapolis, New England, and we're underway from Foxborough. Falk inside his own five. And the former Bayou Bengal gets over the 25 up to the 27 yard line, a return of 25 yards. So Tom Brady gets his first career start in the National Football League at quarterback. He saw action against the Detroit Lions last season and completed one of three passes. Came in for Drew Bledsoe last week in the fourth quarter. Tell us about him. What does he bring to the table? Well, we watched him in practice Friday, made all the throws, has strong enough arm to hit that out route. And Really feels confident. In fact, wasn't nervous at all. I was kind of surprised. First down and 10 from the 28-yard line. And Brady back to pass, and he's sacked on the first play of the game. Brett Scioli, third-year man out of Penn State, getting to Brady. And the Patriots are dropped for a huge loss. And here's the offensive line just beat. Up front, Light, the rookie out of Purdue, Compton, Damian Woody playing with the neck injury, Andruzzi, and Greg Robinson Randall. Backs in receivers, Antoine Smith and Mark Edwards, along with Troy Brown. Here is Smith Andrew running Smith over the left side, gets up to the 25 yard line. Rob Morris, the middle linebacker, there to trip him up. This Indianapolis defense, uh, they are in the shadows of the great Indianapolis offense, but these guys are playing with a chip on their shoulders. Gioli, Williams, Johnson, and Chad Bratsky, who is the sack master for the Colts. Washington Morris and Mike Peterson. In the secondary, Burris, the former Bill Macklin with Coda and Bashir, a rookie at safety. Third down and 12 from the 25. They need to go to the 38 for a first down. Play action, Brady with time. Throwing underneath incomplete. David Patton wide open, and Brady 
unable to put it on him. You see Tom Brady get some pressure, but you got to set your feet and just make the throw. Nobody around. You see the defender fall down. Here comes Pat, and the ball just sails over his head, and maybe that's part of the win. Brady thinking that he has to put some extra zip on it. A little excited coming out early. Just make that throw. I was going to say, nervous jitters, his first throw of the game. And Terrence Wilkins, dangerous return man. Lee Johnson sends it away. End over end kick. Wilkins scoops it up at the 31 yard line, drops it, breaks it inside, and the Patriots get to him. Nice special teams tackle made by Gerard Cherry. 44 yard punt, three yard return. And here comes. Peyton Manning, and I think already you can call him the great one. He is the straw that stirs the drink for this Indianapolis offense. And he made it right, very apparent right there, Gusson. It's tough to break any new ground when you're talking about Peyton Manning. Great deep ball, great underneath, great knowledge of the system. As good as play action faker as there is in the league. And it's just running a great offense. First down and 10 from the 33-yard line. Here's Manning calling the play at the line of scrimmage. They hand it off to Edger and James over the right side, and James gets to Edger the 36-yard line before being chopped down. Ty Law, the left corner with the tackle. Last week, 555 yards in offense for this Indianapolis squad. Glenn McKinney, Saturday Moore, and Meadows. Backs and receivers, Edger and James, Marvin Harrison, dangerous, but the big guy this season so far, Jerome Payton, he is the third option for this Indianapolis team. Second and six from the 37. Manning underneath. Payton with the reception, and he is leveled. Brian Cox almost took his head off. What a hit by Cox, the former Jet. And as a linebacker, that's what you look for. Receivers running routes underneath, not looking for it. You see Brian Cox, full speed, bang, leading with the head. And Jerome Payton just bounced right up, and, uh, and he's running off to the sidelines right now. I don't know if he's getting a breather or if he's just shaking up a little bit. Third down and one for the Colts at their own 42-yard line. Out of the eye formation. Here comes the blitz. They hand it to James. He won't get it. He will not get it. Roman Pfeiffer, first man to him. And the Patriots with a nice stand on defense. You see the surge right side of the Patriots defensive line. You see Pfeiffer getting in there, bouncing off the block, and just sticking with it. So Hunter Smith comes in to punt. He did not attempt a punt last week versus Buffalo. Colts went on to win the game 42 to 26. They had 35 points in the first half of play. So Troy Brown is back deep. Smith, low line drive. And that one gets into the end zone for a touchback. A 58-yard punt, a net of 38 yards. So coming up, young Tom Brady gets another opportunity for the Patriots. Good job. Good job, man. Keep that. Yes. Yes. You know what? Uh, you know, That's a game changer. You know what, though? They actually are calling that this year. Remember they said if you're going to lead with your head? I mean, he clearly did. That's a game changer, though. You know what I'm saying? A deep leader. Yeah, it was. We got to show that hit again. Where's Payton? Guys, home and on. Damn, I'm cold. You want to wear my coat? Nah, I'm alright. Just talk to myself. What? Jeez. Where are the uh, Patriots? And it doesn't get any easier for your New England. They play Indianapolis, then they travel to play Miami next week. San Diego and then to Indianapolis. Colts trying to go 3 and 0 in the division for the first time since 1980 for the Patriots 
huge game. Next week, they travel to play another divisional foe. Do we have sound? You got sound on that? He may have a concussion. Well, what's he sitting down there by himself? That's what I'm saying. Jerome Pathan receiving that tremendous blow from Brian Cox, the 11-year veteran. And the Patriots have it at their own 20-yard line. They run the reverse. Troy Brown over the right side. Gets to the 25, making the 26-yard line. A gain of seven yards. Marcus Washington with the tackle. Let's take another look at the hit. And when you catch balls over the middle of the field, you got to catch that and get your shoulders upfield. Don't stay. Turn around, and you see him get hung up in the air just a little bit. And that allows Brian Cox to deliver a blow. Leader. But Payton doing a tremendous job hanging on to the football. Second down three from the 27. Troy Brown lining up in the backfield. Here's Brady down the seam. Almost picked off. Wobbly pass intended for David Patton. David Macklin covering. And the standings in the AFC East. Indianapolis trying to go to 3-0 in the division for the first time since 1980. Huge game for New England, Brent. They travel to Miami next week to take on another division opponent. And we talked to a couple of the Patriots in game three. You don't want to say it's a must win, but they came out and said it. Hey, for our team, this is a must win. And Gus, you see that win's going to affect Tom Brady. That last ball was floating. Third down and three from the 27. They need to go to the 30 for a first down. Brady, short drop to the sideline. Throws a strike out of bounds. Antoine Smith, terrific grab, and gets the first down, a gain of seven. And for a young quarterback like Brady, he needs to get his rhythm going early. And that time, Gus, he just stepped up, three-step drop, and you talked about rhythm. Watch him step into this pass and deliver it. Perfect spiral, tight right on the outside. And that's a tough throw all the way outside there into the wind. You see Chad Bradsky, he's going to be a, a guy that's going to be in the backfield all day. First down and 10. Antoine Smith again gets to the 35, making the 36. So Tom Brady, the last time he started a game was in the Orange Bowl when he played for the University of Michigan, taking on Alabama. And in that game, he went 34 of 46 for 369 yards, four touchdowns, as the Wolverines won it 35 to 34. Very confident in his throwing abilities. He told us today, uh, yesterday that he really liked the matchups with three and four wide receivers. He's got three wide receivers in the game right now. Had that big game in the Orange Bowl. Maybe he can replicate it today. Second down and eight, from 36. Brady short drop again towards the sideline. Charles Johnson, the intended receiver. A little too much mustard on it. And Bill Belichick told us one of the keys to this game for this Patriots team is to stay at a third and long. You've got to get some yards on first and second down. Third and long is going to hurt him with this blitz scheme of the Indianapolis Colts. And also one of the things the Patriots have to do today is hold on to the ball, move the chains, not have that Colts offense on the field ringing up big points. Third down and eight from the 36. They need to go to the 44 for first down. Kevin Falk in the backfield, patent in motion. Brady, deep drop to the sideline. Nice throw, beautiful catch. Troy Brown, but a flag on the play. It's a gain of 12, and the flag is in the backfield. And it will go against New England. And the call's a legal block below the waist. That's usually a chop block. Personal fall, chop block, 77-72 offense. That's a 15-yard penalty. Repeat third down. It's Mike Compton. Watch these guys right here, Compton and Matt Light. Once you're engaged with the defensive player, you can't go low. You see two guys engaged, and you see Compton go low, and that's for the benefit of the players. Try to keep them healthy out there. That's a chop block. You've got to know if you've got somebody helping you, you can't go below the waist. Third down and a long 23. Draw play. Long. Breaks it back, looking for daylight. 
gets all the way up to the 34 yard line before Corey Bird catches him. And another flag on the play, this time at the end of the play after a 12 yard gain. Boy, if that's a late hit against the Colts, that's going to give the Patriots a first down. I'm not sure. Nothing looked that late to me. Another personal foul against New England. Mm. Patriots had nine penalties last week, and they've been hurting themselves. They've been getting 10 and 15 yarders. They've got to be more disciplined. Bill Belichick upset with Greg, with Rugemer rather. Personal fall, unnecessary roughness, 67. Penalty is declined, fourth down. And that is Gray Rugemer, the second year man out of Arizona. It's one thing to be aggressive and it's another to be stupid. Patriots have had a lot of stupid penalties thus far in the first couple of games of the year. They've got to be smarter than that. Got Drew Bledsoe out. Things haven't been going well. You got to play smart ball. Lee Johnson stands at his own 19. Wilkins at the 25. Wobbly kick. Wilkins from the 26. Wilkins bottled up and taken down at the 28-yard line. 37-yard punt, three-yard return. Mike Rabel with the special teams tackle. Here comes Peyton Manning and company right after this. Yeah, show it though. I think you should show it though. What'd he do, stupid? At the top? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 60, 67, right? Yeah. Yeah, I see ya. Yeah. That's not him, is it? No, it was Yeah, that was dumb. Yeah. Well, that's what we said, stupid plays. But it's. Yeah, no, it's, show it. it's declined. It's it's meaningless. Okay. Ah. Guys, we got to uh, I want to get to it first before we show it. We got to talk about Drew Bledsoe. Patriots defense. And you know what else? We have yet to talk about the no huddle, and we're going to look like fools if, we're, if they're running it. We're not talking about it. Can you hand me my? <laughs> yes, I'm soft, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to Foxborough and Jim Mora, the head coach of the Colts, took over in 1998. In the last three years, he's 25 and 9. And has it rolling in Indy. First and 10 from the 29. Andrew and James, the single setback. Play action. Manning down the middle, Peyton with the catch. This time he gets down inside New England territory, a gain of 22. And here comes the no huddle. Quickly, we'll take a look at the Patriots defense. Hamilton, Mitchell, Pleasant, and Roman Pfeiffer. Linebackers, Rabel Cox, Teddy Bruschi in the secondary. Ty Law's gonna have his hands full with Marvin Harrison today. First and 10 from the New England 49. Edger and James sweeping over the left side. Cuts it up and gets to the 43. And the Colts have had great success with the no huddle this year, have ran it almost exclusively. You see him right now on the ball. Now remember, the no huddle isn't necessarily a two minute hurry up offense, but it doesn't allow the defense to get the substitutions in. So they like the matchups. The Colts love the matchups that they have right now. James once again. 
tripped up just short of the 40 by Anthony Pleasant. And see, it's going to be tough for us, Gus, because sometimes they'll snap the ball quickly, like Peyton Manning did right there, and sometimes they'll wait till the clock runs down. He likes to get a read on the defense, see what he's got. They've got great hand signals outside to the receivers. He's got one word that alerts the offensive lineman what type of play is coming up. And so they've done a great job. They've done this. They've tinkered with it for three or four years, and now they've become masters of running this on the ball offense. Third down and short. They need a yard at the 41. Out of the offset eye, James, the deep man. Manning to the sideline. The Ken Dilger, the intended receiver, and here comes the punt team once again for the Colts. Good sign for the Patriots early on. Well, they've hung tough with them, and that's what they want to do. And you see Ken Dilger's going to catch the ball actually just a little bit behind him. He has to turn his hips. And what he's trying to do is get back around because he's about a yard short of that first down marker. He's trying to turn those hips and get his momentum going upfield. But with doing that, he took his eyes off the ball. Troy Brown back deep. Hunter Smith standing at the 44. High snap handle. Smith gets off a beautiful punt. Headed for the end zone. And that one heads into the back of the end zone. Flags all over the place. A 41-yard punt, a 21-yard net. Hunter's got to take a little bit off that big leg. He's got the wind at his back, and it's really swirling up there. And this one will go against Indianapolis, declined by Bill Belichick. And we'll take a timeout. 7.08 to go. First quarter of play. No score from New England. Now let's talk about Drew Bledsoe. Can we talk about Drew Bledsoe? Yeah. Oh. Man, it sounds like it's a nasty injury. What are you going to say? You talked to me before the game. All I can say is, it shook him up. I think this injury shook him up a little bit. Well, it looks like he's lost weight. Yeah. He did look a little skinny on the sideline. Artery inside his rib cage. Somebody's phone ringing. It's not mine, is it? It's my wife. <laughs> Drew Bledsoe out of the lineup today. He spent four days on his back after a crushing sideline hit last Sunday by. New York Jets linebacker Mo Lewis. The Patriots run the football. Antoine Smith over the left side will take another look at the hit. And Bledsoe suffered internal bleeding due to a, due to a tear of an artery inside his ribcage. Another look at it. Quarterback could not offer a timetable on when he returned to the game. I talked to him before the game, and you could tell that this whole ordeal has shaken him up a little bit. He's a very strong and confident man, but uh, it scared him a little bit. Yeah, and I don't blame him. He's the toughest quarterback as there's been in the National Football League these last five or six years. Here's a reverse. Pat looking for blockers. Pat turns on the afterburners and gets to the 41-yard line. Jeff Burris with the tackle. Always speeding through the highlights, Jim Nance in New York. Uh, 
All right, Jim. So Kurt Warner and the St. Louis Rams getting it going. Last week, Peyton Manning, after throwing an interception on the first series, scored on six consecutive series. Five in the first half. They racked up 35 points in that first half. So a good sign for this New England squad, Brent. They forced them off the field on their first couple of drives a day. And that's what they need to keep doing. And that's really a positive sign. It speaks to this New England's defense. They have been much improved this year. Now they've got to get the offense rolling. And when you see Antoine Smith get nine yards on that first down here a couple of plays ago, that's so important. It gives you an opportunity to run some other plays. Second and eight from the 42. Brady underneath. Caught by his big tight end, Wiggins. And he rumbles for a first down. Down at the 46-yard line. Gain of 11 yards. And watch Wiggins right here, the big tight end, a little bit more known for his receiving than his blocking. Or actually, he's he was the inside guy. So he just runs a little stick route right there. Tom Brady said he'd like the three and four wide receivers. And they're throwing everything they can right now, this Indianapolis Colts defense. On the 47, the pitch, Antoine Smith with the running room. Smith down the sideline. Smith still running out of bounds inside the five. A flag on the play should be a face mask against Indianapolis. But a gain of 44 yards. And Gus, that's the Antoine Smith that we saw a few years back in Buffalo. And he's had a couple of big carries already today. But look at this offensive line. Look at Matt Light, big number 72. Get out there, clear the way, takes Macklin out. There's no corner support. And there's Antoine Smith getting the stiff arm up, little face mask, and running with some authority. What? Look at this balance, guys. Look at him trying to stay in bounds. Very impressive. And that's the Antoine Smith that this New England team needs to see. They need to have him back and confident like he was a couple years ago when he was the man in Buffalo. In 97 and 98, he led the Bills in rushing. In 98, he had a 1,000-yard season. And they say it was a 39-yard run, and the Patriots have it inside the Colts' five. Smith lines up in the backfield. First down and goal at the four. Antoine Smith looking for the score, and he gets it. Watch the left side of the line, Big Matt Light, Mike Compton, just pushing Jermaine Wigan, pushing that Colts defense three and four yards back. And that's something that the Patriots haven't had yet this year. So Antoine Smith with the touchdown so far, five carries, 61 yards. Adam Benateri comes on to attempt the extra point, which is good. Antoine Smith, the first rushing touchdown of the season for the former Buffalo Bill. Little double team on Chad Bradsky, just knocking him back, clearing the hole for Antoine Smith. Always a great scene here in New England. We've Great got, to, atmosphere. We've got to talk about the Colts' lack of success here. Because they're giving up per game, rushing yards, average per game. They're giving up 141 rushing yards per game. Yeah. They average 145, and they have 1,000 yard back, but they're giving up 141 rushing yards per game. Is that right? Look at this stat right here. Opponents rushing, look at this, what it says. Uh, rushing yards is 141. That's opponents, right? Yeah. So they rush for 141 yards. Yeah. Hey, did, did you tell me the wrong receiver in that that replay, or did I circle the wrong guy? Okay. Did you guys do a bunch in San yeah. Francisco? Joe Gibbs started that, right? <laughs>
welcome back to Foxborough. A lot of enthusiasm in the stands as the Patriots drive it 80 yards, six plays. They ate up close to three minutes, and Antoine Smith with the four-yard touchdown. And the big play, that 39-yard run. Wilkins picks it up at the 14-yard line, and Wilkins is wrapped up at the 38. Ball squirts out. Ball squirts out, but they say he was down. T.J. Turner with the special teams tackle. And Indianapolis will take over with pretty decent field position at the 38-yard line. Back to Foxborough after this. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, no, he, he was down? down. Shoulder hit. Is the shoulder or the knee? Or does it matter? Any part of the body? Okay. Oh, this is hand. Let's get the Marvin Harrison matchup going. It, it, there's a trend that's been starting. It looks like Peyton, Peyton looks for Peyton early, and then he hits you with big plays to Marvin a little later. Well, he told us. No, it wasn't from He told us what? He told us that the Belichick style of defense is going to have to take underneath a lot of patience. Yeah. And I won't forget the men who died, who gave that fight to me. Stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this man. What? What do we need? Oh, we're doing a we're doing an on camera? What, what, are, what are we talking about? Oh. Uh. Patriots lead the Colts 7-0 here in the first quarter of play. Indianapolis with the football at their own 39. First down. Here's Manning to the sideline. Low throw. Incomplete. Incomplete as Otis Smith picks up the football and races towards the end zone. Faith in the intended receiver. And I'm just wondering if that ball didn't stay on top of Jerome Pathan. Let's see, he's got it right there. Well, they're saying the ball was down. Uh, it did touch. Otis Smith making it look really good. Second down and 10 from the 39 yard line. Manning out of the shotgun. Here's Wilkins on the hitch. Cuts it across the field and gets to the 45. Gain of six as Teddy Bruschi trips him up. Log on to NFL.com for exclusive online auctions. All proceeds will be donated to the September 11th fund. Just go to NFL.com or AOL keyword NFL.com. Third and four from the 45. They need to go to the 49 for first down. They have not converted on third down as of yet. Manning underneath again. Wilkins, great catch. And they pick up the first down as he gained seven. Peyton told us yesterday when we talked to him that with this Bill Belichick style of defense, he's going to have to work underneath a whole lot today. you got to be patient. you got to take those five and six yard routes and get those New England defenders closing in on it and then take your chances up top. Marvin Harrison without a catch so far. First and 10 from the 48. Andrew James. And James wrapped up by Brian Cox. Another big shot from Brian Cox. That's the second big hit he's had today. You can feel it all the way up here. Brings it up to second down and eight. 
Quick pace for this Colts team. They need to go to the 38 for first down. Patriots showing blitz. Now they back off. Manning, Marvin Harrison incomplete, had it and dropped it. And Ryan Cox is going after everybody that comes close to the middle this afternoon. And don't think that Marvin Harrison wasn't aware of Brian Cox coming from the inside out after that Peyton shot. And you know Marvin Harrison saying, don't lead me into Brian Cox. You see him duck his head. Actually dropped the ball before Brian Cox got there. Third down and eight from the 46. They need to go to the 38 for first down. Manning out of the shotgun. The re receiver package. Manning looking. Tipped. Incomplete. Wilkins, the intended receiver, and the Colts come up empty once again. And Romeo Crennel, great strategy so far. The defensive coordinator for the Patriots. Works hand in hand with Bill Belichick. So Hunter Smith, two punts today, both for touchbacks. Troy Brown back deep, standing inside his own 10. Gets it away. Brown, fair caught at the nine yard line, a 38 yard punt. Tonight on CBS, see why the critics are praising the education of Max Bickford. Oscar winner Richard Dreyfus stars in the education of Max Bickford tonight after 60 minutes on CBS. And what did Richard Dreyfus win the Oscar for? Brent uh, Jones? You know, I already know that. I'm a Richard Drivers fan. What was it called? He's a good biker. Oh, my man. My man. I Always love, prepared. I love Marsha Mason, right? There you go. Okay. From 1978. First down and 10 from the nine. Here's the pitch. Antoine Smith cuts it back, but he's chopped down. Great job by Chad Coda coming in and making the tackle. Coda in his seventh year out of Oregon. Former New Orleans Saint, as well as Carolina Panther. And we've seen this Patriots team with all their success has been running to the left. And that's where Antoine Smith has gone. You see Chad Cota there leading that defense for the Indianapolis Colts, the old veteran. Got some range and he's got some pop still left in him. New haircut as well. Second down and 11 from the eight. And off Smith with running room. Smith over the 15 at the 16 yard line. David Macklin with the tackle after a gain of eight yards. Now Monday on CBS, it's an all new night of comedy starting with the King of Queens followed by Yes Dear. Then it's Monday's number one comedy, Everybody Loves Raymond. And then the season premiere of Becker followed by an all new family law. It's here on Monday on CBS. Third down, three yards to go from the 16 for the Patriots. They need to go to the 19 yard line for a first down. Kevin Falk in the backfield. David Patton in motion. Here's Brady. Flips it out to Falk with running room. Cuts it in. Gets the first down of the Patriots. Keep the chains moving. Jeff Burris with the tackle, but it's a gain of 10 yards. The linebacker Mike Peterson right here, 52. He's man on man with the running back right there. Kevin Falk, he's got to get out there. He's distracted by the motion. You just see him take a second right there to get out. Tight end running right by him. One on one in space. Mike Peterson's been making a lot of tackles for the Colts this year, but it's tough when you get a running back. He's got some moves like Falk. You see him do give him the old spin move, and linebacker just went flying right to the sideline. Kevin Falk, very good third down running back inside handoff. Mark Edwards, and he gets a couple. Easy, guys! Bratsky, only Chad Bratsky. In on the tackle. And that will take us to the end of the first quarter. And a surprise. The New England Patriots lead the most explosive offense in the NFL. 7 to nothing. We'll return to Foxborough Stadium right after this message. Fred. 
Hey, we got a, hey, hey. Leonard Skinner? Yep. How about that, bro? How about that, bro? Huh? You said, who is this? Not If you would have said, this is, there would have been I mean, but still, sweet. come on. You can't take that away from Don't me. Don't try to guess. I mean, how many boys on the uh, 49ers, how many brothers would know that this is Leonard Skinner? Oh, all the brothers. Come on. Sweet home out here. On camera, I don't do those. Gosh, this pink thing is killing me. But it fits you. <laughs> you know, the tight end from San Francisco. Bro, we're on camera. After the first play. Right. Excuse me. We're not, we're, we're not sitting, are we? Watch the first play. Great start for the 0-2 Patriots on top of Indianapolis, seven to nothing. And look at the rushing yards, 103 to 13. Second down and eight to 28. Brady steps up, looking down the field. Incomplete. Troy Brown couldn't get both feet inbound. Still nice pass by the young quarterback. And you need two feet inbounds. Yes, you do. And that's zero. Great throw and catch, though. So Troy Brown back in the huddle. And that'll make it third down and eight from the 28-yard line. They need to go to the 36 for first down. Oh, great catch. Should be a first down. And that is Torrance Small, the former Philadelphia Eagle, with a nine-yard grab. First down, New England. And we talked about Tom Brady's receivers. Going to have to make some plays for him. And Small is going to get up and be large on this pass. Watch him get up, fingertip catch right at the first down marker. He knows where he has to get. Forward progress. Big third down conversion there. And that's what the Patriots have done thus far, I guess. They've converted third downs, made some plays. Running over the left side, Antoine Smith. Once again, let's go to New York, where Jim Nance is standing by. Very emotional win for the Dolphins last week against Oakland at home. Jay Fiedler leading them back on the final drive. Scrambled for a touchdown, second and five from the 42. Inside handoff, and the Patriots trying to get it the hard way. Antoine Smith running. Busy day. Here's Jim Nance once again. All right, Jim, and how much do the Bills miss number seven, the little five feet, nine inch quarterback? Uh -huh, your favorite quarterback and Jim Nance's favorite quarterback. Third down three from the 44. Brady again underneath. First down, New England. Gordon Small. And Brady starting to get his confidence going. Starting? He already had that yeah, confidence maybe you're coming right. in. I think he's just getting everybody else's confidence in him going. 
11 yard gain and he told us we talked about the three and four wide receiver sets and he's been a, doing a great job of capitalizing underneath the four five and six yard passes letting his receivers catch it and get up the field and I have a feeling that man's given him some good advice some big shoes to fill for the young fella out of San Mateo California first and ten from the 45 to the ball. Ball running and gets to the 45 and he went to a high school called Sarah High School and a couple of pretty good athletes have come out of uh, his high school out in the Bay Area where I live and how about this I the first thing I said when I walk in I said hey has Barry called you to wish you good luck yet and he was all serious he said no he hadn't called me yet <laughs> I think he's busy <laughs> right now Tommy <laughs> Lynn Swan John Robinson pretty impressive list of alumni <laughs> there from Sarah High School second down 10 Brady was a backup quarterback to Brian Greasy at Michigan. He's five for nine today, 48 yards. Ready to throw it once again. Brady firing it. Mark Edwards stretching out, unable to hold on. And you know, this Colts team, you mentioned at the top of the show, how they have a chip on their shoulder because their defense isn't getting any respect. And they are much improved from last year, but you can't give up 103 yards rushing in the first quarter and think that people are going to respect you. They've been saying the same thing. They can't stop the run. And here's a Patriots team that has had trouble running the ball for a couple years, gashing them in the first quarter for over 100 yards. Brings up third and 10 from the 45. Patriots four of six on third down conversion. Here comes the blitz. Brady getting out of the pocket. And Taken down at the 45 yard line by Chuki Wakori. Back up defensive lineman who's got some good wheels. And the Patriots will have to punt the football. So Lee Johnson stands at the 40 as Brady gets to the sideline. Terrence Wilkins, he's already returned to punt for a touchdown this season. At the 10 yard line. He's averaging 17 yards per punt return. High spiraling kick. Wilkins allows it to go over his head into the end zone for a touchback. A 45 yard punt, 25 yard net. 10.55 to go here in the second quarter of play. So far, so good for the young man out of Michigan. Thanks. What about me? Sucker. Wah, 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 wah. All right. Hey, how we doing with the scores? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, give me. Okay. No. No, Steve. Wah. Did you give me some Starbucks? Yeah, right. Uh, how about you guys? All you guys, me guys. Yeah, everybody's doing great. How about you guys, me guys? You went to Starbucks today and you didn't get me anything. You know? You know, you know, you you need a coat? You need a coat? Who gets a coat for you? Who's your boy? Starbucks. You got coffee in the But hotel. you didn't get me coffee, man. I, I take that personally. I didn't know you liked coffee. I thought you liked those little foo foo drinks. Little foo foo guy. Oh, man, I am a man of average height. Are you going to sit? Yeah, man. You may be small, but you're slow, too. <laughs> I am, too. I'm really no, slow. Come on, bro. Don't ever admit that. Even if you are. Are we sitting down for this? You guys are. This is weird. Just okay, do what the okay. guy asked you to do. You know what? I'll yell it. I'll be yelling at Steve later on during the year, or he'll be yelling at yes, me. Yes, go ahead. You know, who cares? I thought you said this. We're going to do it after the first play. Indianapolis takes over at their own 20 yard line. Edron James been held in check so far. Here he is over the right side. Brian Cox there to drive him down. But Bobby Hamilton disrupting the play early on. Gus Johnson and Brent Jones. Brent, how impressed are you with 
not only this Patriots defense, but the way they've been running the football as well. Well, they came out very emotional. You could just tell the difference right from the get-go. They're playing fired up. Brian Cox, the number one guy, firing him up, both offensively and defensively. I see him on the sidelines talking to the offensive guys, getting them fired up. The Colts have struggled here in Foxborough. Peyton Manning underneath Payton with the catch. Cox hits him as well as Buckley. And you said that this New England team has been very successful against Indianapolis at home. Well, last year they beat the Colts 24 to 16 here in New England. Then traveled to Indianapolis and lost 30 to 23. And Peyton Manning came in and told us right off the bat, I haven't won here. Third and eight from the 22, they need to go to the 30. Defense trying to get the fans involved. You're going to see Jerome Payton, Gus, catch that ball and try to get to the first down marker and dive and get that ball up front. But he's going to be about a yard short. And there's Brian Cox saying goodbye to Peyton. And Cox has been in control this game as well as the Patriots defense, and he's pretty fired up about it. You know, Brent, I think that hit on Payton on the first series set a tone for this New England defense. I think you're right. If you're a receiver right now, you know Brian Cox is going to be there. Troy Brown from the 35. Brown looking for an opening. And he scrambles over the 45-yard line of the 40. Eight yard line, a 36 yard punt, 12 yard return, but flags on the play. And guess one of the things that we haven't addressed the Patriots had that 7 0 lead and they were going into the win that first quarter. And it's going to be tougher for this Colts team to throw into the win here in the second. So now the Patriots have it at their back and they're looking forward to making some plays downfield. Penalty going against New England. Holding 25 of the return team during the run back, 10 yard penalty, first down. So Myers called for the holding penalty. Timeout on the field. Brian Cox trying to get into the mind of young Peyton Manning. Pittsburgh on top of Buffalo. Kansas City on top of Washington, 7-3. Yeah. What are their names again? Jan, Marsha, Cindy. <laughs> Pittsburgh and Buffalo. Do you see him? Do you see him? No, I don't know how to do that. You want to look at these? Do you see the girls? Let's see them. No, bro. Welcome back, first down and 10 for the Patriots at their own 34-yard line. Brady looks far side, 
running complete and a flag on the play. David Patton, the intended receiver, David Macklin covering. And Macklin was pushing him 12, 14 yards downfield. You can't, you've got the five yard chuck zone and, and you're gonna see Macklin making contact and you can't knock the receiver off his route that, yard, that many yards downfield holding and grabbing. Macklin, second year player out of Penn State. 27 defense. That's an automatic first down. Huge gain. A 26 yard penalty. And you see him grab on the shoulder, patting both sides, and he switches over and then he gets up and throws his hands up like, hey, what? I didn't do anything. Macklin replaced Tyrone Poole in right corner. The handoff to Antoine Smith. Smith with a little Antoine running Smith room. Gets to the 37 yard line. Brad Schioli tackling him from behind. The Patriots really haven't had any success running at Schioli. He's made three or four tackles going to the right there. And Really, their big yards have come off tackle left. Makes it second and eight from the 38. Smith, high stepping through the hole, gets to the 33 yard line. Gain of five yards on the play. For the best NFL info on the net, including expert analysis and in-depth team reports, go to cbs.sportsline.com or AOL keyword CBS Sportsline. Makes it third down and three from the 33-yard line for the Patriots. And as long as they don't keep getting into third and long, they've had reasonable third down attempts. You can pass or run. Here's Kevin Falk looking for the first down, gets it. And Bill Belichick told us on Friday that they were going to run the football and they are running the football. Well, got to believe Coach Belichick. That was part of his game plan. Keep the clock rolling, ball control, keep that Colts offense off the field. And watch Falk right here. He gets hit, smash mouth, turn around, face back, and fall forward. That's the key. Fall forward on that third and short. Looks like somebody also got a piece of his face mask. 121 yards rushing for the Patriots. Remember last year in Indy, J.R. Redmond rushed for 97 yards on 22 carries. Once again, Smith. Yeah, Smith is really working hard this afternoon. And the Pats just content with running the ball on first down, chewing up clock. You haven't seen a whole lot of passes first down. Smith gusts 11 carries, 82 yards. And so the Colts ought to have a chip on their shoulder. Now we update it. 12 carries for 85 yards. Man, we are quick around here, aren't yes, we? Yes, we are. Second and seven from the 27. Smith around the left side. Takes a blow, but somehow manages to fall forward. Rob Morris, the middle linebacker. Rob Morris is Josh Williams. First round pick out of BYU last season. Only played seven games. Injured himself against this Patriots team last year. Nice hit. Big Josh Williams in on the tackle as well. It took a big shot. Colts and the Patriots. First meeting of the season between these two. Third down and nine from the 29. They need to go to the 20 for first down. Brady out of the shotgun. Brady down the middle. Incomplete. Torrance Small, the intended receiver. But it's incomplete, and that'll bring on... Adam Vinatieri. And Brady had gone to Torrance Small the last two third downs and had his eyes on him the whole way. You see him looking right at Torrance Small. Just put that ball a little bit behind. If he would have let him a little bit, he would have been able to snag that and get down and have the first down. So Adam Vinatieri into attempt a 47 yard. He's two for two on the season with a long of 39 yards. Lee Johnson, the punter, is the holder. Gets it down. It's up. And pure, right down Main Street. Nicely done, Adam Vinatieri, and we have an upset brewing here at Foxborough. Oh, you pick, ha <laughs> ha, who did you pick? Who did you pick? Patriots. Who did you pick? Jeez, how did I <laughs> fall for that? <laughs> Sucker bat. <laughs> oh, baby. 
Oh, baby. Oh, that buddy's going to be great because... Got to be objective. Who did you pick? I picked... Uh, hey, how are the Rams doing? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, the, are the Eagles a 4 o'clock game? That's tonight against the Cowboys. How the Rams doing? They just scored again. Yeah. You talk about one of these games. Talk about both of them. Okay. I'm talking about the Cincinnati Titans. Wow. Why don't you just wait? I'm gonna do it after the after the kick. Don't forget, coming up, doubleheader for you. Most of you will see Baltimore and Denver, others Cincinnati and San Diego. Terrence Wilkins inside his own five-yard line, running it up the field and gets to the 23 before being stopped. An 18-yard return. So coming up, down 10 to nothing, Peyton Manning will try to get something going. What, what are what are Manning's numbers? Six of ten, 52 18. yards? Wow. Can you guys do a split screen of last week? Yeah. Split screen it. Jeez, I should be producing this thing. They lead the NFL in yards, second in the NFL in rushing. No catches. They've sat on Marvin Harrison. Yes, they have. Jiminy Crickets. Yeah, right. He's done a great job. Right. Got at least three or four minutes. <laughs> Almost like the wind has become in our face. Warm now. Yeah, and it's blowing towards us. The crosswind. Hey, maybe you need to talk about that. Can we see the wind again? Yeah, the flags aren't blowing this way. But no, but they're going that way, and look where the flags are blowing. They're going into the wind. That's what I'm saying. We, I mean, we already stuck, talked about it. But we didn't show it. Welcome back, the New England defense playing unbelievably here in the first half of play. Indianapolis unable to get anything going. Marvin Harrison, no catches in four possessions. Last week he had three touchdowns in the first half of play. Edwin James running over the left side and gets over the 25 up to the 28. Coming up on the next Hill Halftime Report, join Jim, Mike, Randy, and Jerry for all the scores and highlights and the latest NFL news, plus a CBS News update, America Fights Back. You talked about Marvin Harrison having no catches. You've got to give some great amount of credit to Ty Law. Been with him most of the day out there. They throw it. Harrison getting up the field, finds a first down. And in the last four games against the Patriots, Harrison has 31 catches for 538 yards and six touchdowns. And they just get, had to get him in, in the mix. They had to get the ball in his hands. They threw a flanker screen just right at the line of scrimmage so he could have a touch. Four straight 100-yard games. James cutting it back. James shot down. Roman Pfeiffer. 
gobbling him up. And this Patriots run defense has been outstanding today. It's something that has really been a big element here in the first half. A lot of, a lot of penetration. 17 yards today. Second and eight from the 37. Manning underneath. Gilbert drops his second pass of the game and pays for it. And you know, and Gus, you mentioned early about Brian Cox and the intimidation factor. Anybody catching a ball coming across the middle is going to take a shot. And this time, I think Dilger's going to get a linebacker sandwich. Cox and Vrabel, bang. Wow. Third down eight from the 37. Romeo Cornell. Colts one of five on third down. They need to go to the 45. Manning looking. Manning steps up. And Manning will not get the first down. Tackled out of bounds at the 35. Roman Pfeiffer. And this New England team is playing some intense defense right now. And really, what they're doing, Gus, they, these are covered sacks. You watch that defensive secondary. You see Peyton standing back there that long. There's nobody getting open. And there's a flag on the far side of the field at about the 46. And it goes against New England. Illegal contact. 24 defense. Five-yard penalty, automatic first off. Ty Law. Wow, and that is a huge penalty with the change of possession potentially coming. So we're looking for the penalty in our truck as we speak. It happened on the opposite side of the play. And you know, defensive backs only have five yards to make that contact, and you can't make contact down the field. And you're going to see Ty Law at the top of the Top of the screen with a love tap inside, but you can't make contact. Great acting job there, Marvin Harrison. Hey, if they're going to hit you, might as well go down. Draw the flag. Colts catch a break. First and 10 from their own 42. 3.52 to play here in the first half. Ducks under in the outstretched arms of Bobby Hamilton. A four-yard pickup. Ted Johnson also in on the play. Tell you what, though, Patriots defense really swarm into the football. And Bobby Hamilton, great job versus the rush. Second down. Led all defensive linemen last year in tackles for the Patriots. Second and six from the 46. Manning looking backside. Manning all day to throw. And over the shoulders, out of bounds at the 28-yard line. A 26-yard gain. And there's just no way you can give Peyton Manning six or seven seconds with that receiving crew that he's got out there. Count. You see Marvin Harrison just running an inside route. Nobody there. Hey, I'm just going to go downfield. A covered initially. Peyton Manning with nobody around him. That's the one thing the Patriots haven't done is put pressure on Manning. Edwin James will take a loss. Nice looking tackle by Otis Smith. The flag, though, in the secondary for New England. Matt Stevens and Jerome Pathan having some words as well. And it will go against Indy. Look like a clip coming downfield, maybe on Jeff Saturday. I saw him complaining down there. Personal ball, 86 offense, crack back, 15 yard penalty. Repeat the dog. And I think that's why Matt Stevens had some words for Jerome Bathan. When you come inside, you can't go below the waist. You have to be a lineman. You're going to block that low. And watch Peyton. Peyton. The near guy go right at the legs of Stevens. You can't go below the waist inside the box like that. First and a long 25 from the 44. Manning setting up a screen. Edgerton James tackled from behind. Guess who? Brian Cox 
love him or hate him, this guy gives his all on the field every time he steps out there. And we talked to him a couple weeks ago, and he was so cool and calm in the meeting, said he'd matured. And you see him out on the field screaming, ranting, raving all over the field, making plays, reading screens. He is really the, the vocal leader of this Patriots defense. His intensity is contagious. Second and 22 from the 42. They need to go all the way to about the 18 and a half for a first down. Manning to the sideline. Intercepted. Otis Smith. Smith with running room. Smith gets down the sideline. Smith needs one more block. Smith gets it in. Touchdown, New England. Seventy-eight yards, and we've got Bedlam here at Foxborough. Otis Smith, the 12-year veteran, not only a great catch on the interception, but a tremendous return. And it came right at the two-minute warning. So Adam Venateri in to attempt the extra point. Gets it up and good. Surprise, surprise. A minute and 42 to go here in the first half of play. The Patriots are sucking it to the Colts. 17 zip. Interception of the year. Well, we need a, oh, we need an all 22. He had on one return last week for a touchdown. Don't forget to say it. Who plays? Who plays? Who's number 22 for the? Come on, let me see the replay. What are you guys doing down there? Talk to him in your talk back, bro. Come on. Woo! Jeez. They are. They, you know what they're doing? Yep. One forty-two to go in the second quarter of play. New England with a 17 to nothing lead. And for the Patriots, that Otis Smith interception was the first interception since December 4th of last season when they played Kansas City. It's a span of six games. Vinatieri sends it away. Wilkins from the four. Wilkins up the sideline, out of bounds. And what a play. Let's take another look. And Gus, these Patriots are flying around. You see Peyton Manning looking for Payton. Watch to Bucky Jones. Bang, there's the first shot. Payton out of bounds. Now watch Otis Smith cut all the way back. Watch Ty Law with his block on Edger and James right here down the field. Then here comes Peyton Manning getting taken out of the play by big number 96, Brandon Mitchell. Smith cutting it back across the field. And where was that Patriot or that Colts offense? Didn't look like guys were hustling downfield. There's never a time where a guy should cut back, weave across the field, and go 70 yards on you. You've got to rally to the ball. So Peyton Manning back under center, 9 of 15, 87 yards. 
and one interception. Manning setting, fires to Wilkins, and Wilkins goes down at 25. And I tell you what, Brent, to me it looks like this Patriots team has one simple objective in mind on defense. They are really just going out there and, and for lack of a better word, chumping them today and just thumping them. As physical as I've seen them here in the last two or three years. Second and seven, Manning running. Manning goes down. And Peyton Manning. Now that's the last and thing. And Willie McGinnis do. bearing down on him. Yeah, with Peyton Manning looked like a broken play there. You don't want him running over the middle of the field. Indianapolis with three timeouts for Manning. Manning. Nobody home. Manning out of the pocket. Manning scrambling. Finds. Edger and James, and he's down at the 30, flags on the field. Maybe a holding penalty against Indy. And it is. And this this secondary for the Patriots wow. is playing the best game. I have not seen a Colts Holding, team. 78 offense. Penalty is declined, fourth down. Tar Glenn. And we just haven't seen Peyton Manning go back and stand back there for five or six seconds, unable to find any open receivers. That hasn't happened for a couple years. Tell you what, Manning looks like he looked during his rookie season when they played a Sunday night game against New England right here at Foxborough, and the Patriots just ate him up. Punt is away, spiraling kick, Brown from the 27. And Brown goes down. <laughs> Clifton Crosby with the special teams tackle. 43-yard punt. And Gus, let's look at this coverage. Watch the receivers here for the Colts. Split out wide and watch the zone. Good linebackers getting drops underneath. Just taking away all those throwing lanes. Right here and here, there's nobody to throw to. We've got coverage out here, coverage outside. And now you're seeing what Peyton Manning's seen is no throwing lanes. Five-yard penalty, repeat fourth down. Uh, an illegal man downfield, so they will kick it again. And yesterday, Manning, he knew that Coach Belichick was going to use cover two. And he knew that there would be openings in the middle, but I don't think he thought about how hard the linebackers would be hitting for this New England team. Well, he knew exactly coming into this game what he was up against, and he said it was going to take a lot of patience. But this Colts team is much more mature this, this year than the last couple of years. They understand what they have to do. This one off the side of the foot. Brown picks it up at the 35. And Brown advances the football up to the 45, make it the 46. 40-yard punt, 11-yard return. Don't forget, coming up on the Nextel Halftime Report, Jim Nance and company will have scores and highlights and the latest NFL news, plus a CBS News update, America Fights Back. I wonder uh, who picked New England in this game. I'm sure somebody in our studio picked New England. You think so? I hope so. I know so. Somebody did. Probably Coach Ditka. I don't think any of them had the guts to pick New England. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah. Don't say that. Hey, Gus, 21 seconds left. The Patriots have three timeouts with the win. That's a big advantage going with the win. They need to get the ball down to probably about the 33-yard line to give Vinatieri a shot for a field goal. First and 10 from the 47. Brady underneath. Brown. Brown is sandwiched and goes down at the 48-yard line with 15 seconds to go. A five-yard pickup. New England calls timeout. Tonight on 60 Minutes, how prepared are we for a biological or chemical attack that the man who briefs the president brief you tonight on 60 Minutes? 15 seconds to go in the first half of play. Second and six for the Patriots from the 49. Draw play, Kevin Falk trying to get out of bounds. Falk does at the 35. 
side with nine seconds to go, a 13-yard gain. Good call by Charlie Weiss, the offensive coordinator for New England. A little draw play there, and you see Kevin Falk going right to the left right now. All the big running games today for the Patriots have been to their left. And not only did Falk have a big play, but he was smart enough to get out of bounds. They probably need another four or five yards, Gus, to be in legitimate military range, although that wind is gusting up to 26 miles an hour right now. Really going to give that ball some extra carry. New England still has two timeouts remaining. Here's Falk once again. Falk to the sideline. Out of bounds with four seconds to go. So this should probably be about a 48-yard field goal. For Venetari, who's perfect on the season, three of three. And with this win, Gus, I don't think distance can be a factor. I saw Adam down there in pregame, and he was kicking him 52, 53 easy with the win behind his back. Successful on one attempt today from 47 yards. And that wind's blowing a little bit into our face, maybe a little bit swirling. See if he can keep this ball straight or if it pushes a little right. This one from 48. Got it up. Put it on the board, Adam Vinatieri. And that's the end of the first half of play. What a first half for New England. With the score, 20 to nothing. Coming up, it's the next No Half Dive Report after this message and a word from your local station. Now show the hit by Cox and then show Marvin Harrison dropping the ball with Brian Cox coming at him and then and then show the inner you know what the other thing is Peyton Manning standing back there with nobody getting open I mean okay that's fine hey can we get New York can we get New York New York, so I can hear the highlights.
New York. New York. Holmes Priest. Holmes Priest into the end zone. Oh my, nice grab. Hey, Gus left. Yeah. Hey, we need to talk about a. Hey, yeah. Where's that hot dog? Thanks, bro.
defense in better positions to do damage. So we're doing, so we're doing right out of the, uh, what are we doing here? We're, and we're doing the stats right off the white shot, right? Or off the. Indianapolis, I think. No, it was it was uh, Ty Lo I mean, uh, it was Lawyer Malloy. Lawyer Malloy said they have to put the defense. What question? That was you, right? <laughs> That's insightful. Next time you say, hey, do you got any double moves? <laughs> Welcome back to the statistics from the first half of play. And if anybody would have told you coming into this game that one team was going to have 140 yards rushing at halftime, the other team 25, 100% of the people would say Colts 140 and Patriots 25. Let's take a look at the highlights from the first half, and you only need to see two. Brian Cox, bang, deep leader right there, intimidation. Nobody else wants to come across the middle. Peyton Manning putting the ball up, Otis Smith making the big play. Watch this Patriots defense. They'll fly around, get blocks downfield. Ty Law blocking Edger and James. Brandon Mitchell taking out Peyton Manning right across your screen right there. Smith, the great cutback. When we talked to lawyer Malloy yesterday, Gus, he told us, they have got to start giving their offense here for the Patriots better field position. And he said, you know what? We need to get a score. And they got one. And you can feel the momentum swing to the Patriots side. And when you look at this defense, Brian Cox leading the way. Six tackles, three assists on tackles. They are playing with reckless abandon and just hazing the uh, the, the uh, Indianapolis receivers. Well, remember, Peyton Manning told us you have to be patient and you have to complete routes underneath. And these receivers for the Colts now know that if you go underneath, you're going to run into old number 51, and he's going to blast you and then tell you about it. So we're ready to start the second half of play. Indianapolis will receive the football. Adam Vinatieri, perfect so far on the season. Two field goals in this game, and this is a line drive kick picked up at the 25-yard line by Chuki Wakori. And well, Corey gets to the 30 yard line. So Peyton Manning comes back onto the field and look at the quarterback comparison today. Manning 90 yards in the first half. And young Tom Brady 52 yards, but Manning throwing the interception for a touchdown. And Brady doing a good job just managing that offense, completing those four and five yard routes on third down. And Peyton. Having a lot of time to throw, hasn't got a lot of pressure, but his receivers can't get open. The secondary for the Patriots doing a great job in coverage. They start from the 31. Play action, Manning looking over the middle, caught by Marvin Harrison. And Harrison tackled by Teddy Bruschi, a gain of 17 yards. Now, one week ago, in the first half, the Colts just exploded against Buffalo. Manning ended with 421 yards passing, four touchdowns. Different story, though, this afternoon. First down from the 48. Edger and James running. He carries a couple of blue shirts with him, picks up about two and a half, three. First half possessions today. Oh, an awful lot of punch. You don't see that when you see the Colts' possessions usually, and that interception, uh, of course, hurt him tremendously. But in fact, guess right now, I think Teddy Bruschi is down on the field. And that's going to be a big blow for this Patriots defense because he's been flying all over the field, making left, plays as well. Left arm giving him some problems. We'll be back with an update right after this. 
fans, today's statistics are brought to you by Metrics Engineering Nutrition. I just want to say it's an honor working with all you guys. You guys are real pros. Just don't drive us to the game. You know what? You know what? I'll bet you if Lawyer Malloy hits him. I wouldn't. I wonder if Lawyer Malloy didn't take that shot. Yeah, nothing. Just in on the tackle. There's a left shoulder right there. Washington's losing 28 to 10. Giants are up 14 nothing. Is that Bob Monsbach's powerful Saints offense? Let's talk. Hey, we've got to talk. Let's get some stats from that last time that we had the game here, and the Colts were, was it 27-7, and they came back and won it? Or it was, no, no, it was the opposite way. But they came back and beat them in Indianapolis. Teddy Bruschi walked off the field on his own, trying to stretch out that left arm. May have suffered a stinger in it. Manning, misdirection, finds Edward James. James fumbles. Who has it? And they say the Patriots have it. The Patriots forced the second turnover of the game. What a hit put on James by Roman Pfeiffer. Dislodging the ball, Ted Johnson falls on it, and New England is in business once again. Good job, man. You know, I've been carrying your butt for, what, five years now? Finally, you start to get it. Ah, good call, Mookie. Thank Give God. Give me that shot. Yep. No, the other behind the one is better. Oh, okay, that's good. Good job. Let, give me time to talk about that coming out. Yeah, good one. Keep that for when they're on offense. Have they ever been shut out under Manning? Have they ever failed to score a touchdown? When was the last time they failed to score a touchdown? When we come back from fumble. Welcome back, first down and 10 from the 46-yard line for the Patriots on top of the Colts. 20 to nothing here in the third quarter of play. Antoine Smith running the football. Another look at the turnover. Edger and James. And as a receiver or running back, he always wanted that ball on the outside arm. Watch him switch hands, trying to work it to the outside and fumble, and he doesn't get a good grip on it. 
and he dropped that ball without even being touched, Gus. And you know what? When the wind is blowing and it's cold, that ball hardens up and it becomes slippery. It's not very pliable. And it, when you try doing something like that, the ball can slide right out of your hands just like it did there with Edrin James. Second down and nine from the 47. Antoine Smith running behind Mark Edwards, breaks a tackle, gets to midfield. Now we talked about the four big guys for Indy at the top of our telecast, but they haven't done a whole heck of a lot today. No, they haven't. Although that last play to Marvin Harrison coming across the middle, 17, 18 yards, you kind of felt like the Colts were getting back into the swing of things before that screen pass to Edger and James. And turnovers have killed the Colts when they played the Patriots, and Jim Mora had told us about that. And what a momentum killer. Third down seven from midfield. They need to go to the 44. For a first down, here's the pitch. Fuck. Looking for room. He won't get the first down. And here comes the punt team for New England. You know, I don't mind them running the ball on third down, but how about running to the left where they've had all their success? They haven't done anything the right side of the field. But don't you have to run it to the right side to keep them honest? Right. Who cares about honesty when you're getting yards? Good point. Well, you should always care about honesty. <laughs> Terrence Wilkins stands at the 10 yard line. Lee Johnson at his own 38. Johnson kicks it into the wind and it goes out of bounds at the 25. The wind really holding that one up. 23-yard punt. Okay, let's tell some history stuff now about this series. Yeah, let's do it uh, when his team is on top in the fourth quarter. Name this group. Snoop Doggy Dog in here. Some Jay Z. Oh, yeah. This guy is like a Bob Dylan wannabe. Wow. Right here. This is it. Follow all the games on NFL.com and after the games, get in depth analysis and recaps from the experts only at NFL.com or AOL keyword NFL.com. Edward James tripped up in the backfield. Nicely done by Bobby Hamilton. And the Colts down 20 to nothing. The last time they were shut out, December 26th, 1993. Guess who did it? The New England Patriots. 38 to nothing right here at Foxborough. I will carry your luggage for the rest of the year if the Colts get shut out today. Okay. That's done, yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that did stun me. Second down and 11 from the 23. Manning to the sideline. It is intercepted. Pfeiffer. Down at the 15. I think I'm going to be packing extra. <laughs> Third turnover of the day. 
Edrin James with his second, just trying to hold on to that ball, just juggling it, and it bounces right into the hands of Pfeiffer. You see the ball floating a little bit with that win, and great hands right there. Buckley tipping it into Pfeiffer's hands, and Roman Pfeiffer making his move down the sidelines. Good hands for El Buckley, keeping it from going on the ground. Patriots at the Indianapolis 15. Inside handoff, Edwards rumbling down to the 10. Roman Pfeiffer, second interception of the day. Peyton Manning searching for answers. The wheels coming off of this Indianapolis Colts squad right now. Now maybe you take a shot at the end zone if you're the, the Patriots. Don't just settle for a field goal here. Try to slam the door shut. Antoine Smith trying to get outside, and Ellis Johnson gobbles him up from behind. A frustrating day for head coach Jim Mora. His team playing so well in the first two outings, obliterating the New York Jets and then doing the same against Buffalo last week at home. They were trying, they are trying to go 3-0 and in the division for the first time since 1980. And they have a bye next week. Third down seven from the 12. They need to go to the five for first down. Brady into the end zone. Incomplete. Intended for Torrance Small. And covering on the plate, Thomas Smith. Here comes Adam Vinatieri. You see Small, he might have been pushing off right here just a little bit, coming, trying to come back, making the play. And you might as well take the shot. Take the shot into the end zone. And you see Thomas Smith getting his hand back in and breaking it up. So Vinatieri, good today from 47 and 48, kicking into the wind right now at the 20. Flag on the play prior to the kick. And it'll be a false start against false New England. Start, 77 offense. Five yard penalty, still fourth down. Mike Compton, the left guard. So they push it back five yards and spot it at the 25. It'll be a 35 yard attempt. Vinatieri, it's good. Adam Vinatieri is on fire. 23 to nothing, New England. Why? Oh, okay. Hey, let's talk about it. I want to talk about <sighs> Let's hey, hey, can we stay on a wide shot? Cuz I'm going to talk. I'm going to I'm going to do a series uh, note here, series history note. This guy's killing our shot. Get him out of there. There you go. That's his sister? You're crazy. Are you really? Yeah. You can just give it to me when it's time. <laughs> Who's back there with him? <clears throat> Jerome Payton.
Patriots and Colts, a series that dates back to 1970. And since Indianapolis moved to, well, the Colts rather moved to Indianapolis in 1984, New England has really had their number winning 24 of 33 games. And Adam Vinatieri has been a difference maker today. Three field goals, 47, 48, 35 yards. Short kick, Payton from the 15. Payton trying to reverse himself and is dragged down. Gerard Cherry with the tackle on special teams, a 12-yard return. Wednesday on CBS, the amazing race continues. Out of six billion people on the planet, one man must be found to stay in the game. Don't miss an all-new episode of The Amazing Race Wednesday on CBS. Sellout crowd here in New England. Patriots up 23 to nothing. Last two possessions for the Colts, a fumble and an interception. Manning flushed out and driven down. Bobby Hamilton. Second sack of the day for New England. And that, Gus, is what they call coverage sack. You saw, and we've talked about it all day, Peyton Manning going back, not being able to find anybody. You see Hamilton coming around here on the outside versus Adam Meadows coming back in, but the ball should be off by then. New England, two sacks today. Here's Manning once again. Looking underneath, incomplete. Nobody home. Marvin Harrison, closest man to the football. And you can tell this Indianapolis offense, they are really rattled, Brent. Well, they're definitely out of sync. And what we haven't seen is two significant completions in a row. This is a team that moves the ball up and down the field. 15 yards here, 18 yards there. They've got to develop some type of a rhythm. And the bell tolling here in New England. The numbers for Peyton Manning today, 108 yards. Third and 11 from the 29. They need to go to the 44 first down. New England fakes the blitz. Manning looking down the sideline. Incomplete. Peyton had only one foot inbound. And he got one, but his momentum was taking him out. And he just kind of dove out. And didn't even try to get that second one down. Tough. Got to catch that one and get this one down. He's going to hit this one right here. Kick with that second one, and you saw the momentum, and he almost got that knee in, which would have been as good as two feet. But that was ball. That ball was maybe taking him out of there a little bit more than I thought originally. So Hunter Smith ready to punt again. His fifth punt, making his sixth punt to receive. Only punted three times coming into this game. Gets it away. Line drive. Kevin Falk backpedals to the 10. Up the sideline. Flags. And Falk down at the 24. And Sam Sword getting him. We're going to have an illegal block on number 25, Leonard Myers. And those are the type of penalties you just can't have. You have the momentum swing and you get the ball back. And Corey Bird limps off the field for the Colts. That was a 61-yard punt. Illegal block in the back. 25 of the return team during the run back at the distance of the goal. First off. Leonard Myers, so while they march it off, we'll take a timeout. Peyton Manning looking for answers. His team down 23-0. Yes. What are their names? You got their names? Don't forget, you can get your copy of the Patriots Year 2001 by stopping at the Patriots Post. Wow. DSL. 
Wow, why are they why, why are they sitting up top? Are those good? Where's Jan and Marsha and Cindy? Those are the only Brady's I know. His other sisters, Jan, Marsha, and Cindy, uh, out of work right now. <laughs> about that, your little brother starting in the NFL. They still live in San Mateo, right? Older sisters, right? Nancy Brady, Julie Brady, the older sisters of New England starting quarterback Tom Brady who made the trip from San Mateo, California. And so far their younger brother is doing a pretty decent job. Here's Brady underneath, completes the pass at the 18-yard line to Troy Brown. It's a gain of nine. Numbers aren't really big, Brent, but he hasn't hurt his team, and that's the most important thing. Done a great job of managing the offense, Gus, and he's very excitable. He's keeping these guys pumped up, and it's, it's funny to see him trying to charge guys up. Usually, everybody's trying to get the rookie to get the nerves out, to, to get excited, and he's been the guy running the show here on the offensive side of the ball. Second down and one. Inside handoff, Edwards looking for the first down, has it. Mark Edwards, who played in Cleveland last year, and picks up the first down. Tackled by Christian Peter. Seven minutes and 46 seconds remaining here in the third quarter of play. Unbelievable performance by the New England Patriots, especially their defense. Adam Vinatieri has been good on three field goals today. He's perfect on the season, and the Pats lead the Colts 23 to nothing. Gus Johnson, Brent Jones with you from the 20 yard line. First down, New England. Brady. And he really wanted to gun that one in there. Throwing into the wind, intended receiver David Patton. And you know, it's tough to contend with this win, that win making the ball sail. And speaking about the win, the time is now for this. Colts offense because they're going with the win here in the third quarter in the fourth quarter It's not going to get any easier as they switch sides and Peyton's going to have to throw into this win 26 mile per hour wins at the start of the game Second and ten from the 21 Brown on the reverse Gets a great block and gets to the 25 nicely done by Mike Compton Gain of four yards. And Peterson gets up slowly for Indy. Mike Compton coming over from the Lions this year in free agency and just kind of bringing an attitude to this offensive line for the New England Patriots. And, you know, when you play in the black and blue division, you definitely have an attitude. Tough guys, and you saw the rushing yards up there. Six, six, some significant rushing yards today for the New England Patriots. Third down and six from the 25. New England, five of 10 on third down conversions. They need to go to the 31 for first down. Four receiver package, Brady. Time to throw, five Brown first down. New England. Tell you what, this kid has made some big throws today on third down. It's a gain of eight. And that was a great snatch by Troy Brown, reaching back to grab that ball and lean forward and go ahead and get the first down. You see his hands sneaking back out and rolling forward and doing a great job. And let's look at Matt Light doing a great job versus Chad Bresky, a well-known intense pass rusher and getting some yards over on that left side of the line as well today. Antoine Smith. Mike Peterson steps up and plugs the hole. Rides him to the ground. 
547 remaining in the third quarter played New England doing everything they told us they do on Friday exactly and, and they had said they want to be able to control the ball they want to be able to have third and manageable that's third and three four five and Charlie Weiss dialing up the right play usually he's in the booth but because Tom Brady is starting his first game at quarterback he decided to come down and do his job from the field inside it is bobbled and caught by Charles Johnson Johnson a former Eagle had a good year last year but was released by the Eagles and signed with the Pats a first round pick by Pittsburgh back in 1994 started every game for Philly last year 56 catches close to 700 yards third down five from the 38 they need to go to the 43 for a first down Patrick pass lines up in the backfield now there's Patton in motion Brady under pressure incomplete Marcus Washington delivering a lick on Tom Brady New England forced to punt it away and that's the first big shot that Tom Brady's taking this year. Watch 53, Marcus Washington coming from inside right here, taking a shot right as Brady releases that ball. And it's almost intercepted, guys. You see that ball hang up there floating. Corey Bird, Ellis Johnson around that ball. Lee Johnson, wobbly kick. Takes a Patriots bounce and is down at the 35. Now here's a question for you, Brent. You ready? Yep. Okay. Of the NFL team starting 0-2, which is the best shot at making the playoffs? Buffalo, Detroit, Kansas City, Minnesota, Tennessee, or Washington? Well, four of those teams have absolutely no shot. Who has no shot? Uh, let's see, Washington. They might be the worst. Uh, everybody else, Minnesota has a chance, and of course, you know Tennessee will be there fighting at the end. What about New England? They're 0-2. How come they're not in the poll? They've got a chip on their shoulder now. <laughs> not in the poll. Peyton Manning, under pressure, dumps it off to Dilger. Dilger running, lowers his head, gets close to the first down, about a gain of eight as Terrell Buckley comes up with the tackle. Thursday on CBS. Find out what it's like to work inside the CIA. Meet the unsung heroes who help protect America in a powerful new drama, The Agency, Thursday after CSI here on CBS. Gus, of course, all the drives are crucial right now, but this one might be the most crucial for the Colts. They've still got the win. Three and a half minutes left here in the third quarter. This, they need a touchdown here on this drive. First down from their own 47. Edger and James. James spins and gets to the 50. He had James came to this game with five straight 100-yard games. Had 111 yards rushing versus Buffalo. 132 yards rushing their first game against the Jets. Today, though, 12 carries, 28 yards. And you know a big part of his game is wearing teams down in the second half. He's not going to get the opportunity to because they're going to have to put the ball up in the air. Second and seven from midfield. Manning underneath, Edward James running after the catch. And Edgar and James gets to the 37 yard line, a pickup of 13. And Manning talked to us yesterday about yards after the catch from Edger. And, and how and also he said one of the best receivers in the NFL coming out of the backfield. Watch him use his hand to balance himself. What great balance. He's gonna take a shot, go down, get his hand down there, spin back up. James once again with blockers in front of him. Keeps his balance and gets to the 30. To Bucky Jones with the tackle, a gain of nine. And how about Edger and James getting spun up in the air, landing on one foot. Nine tenths of the guys would go down on this league. Watch him run off the left side here. Gonna get hit and bounce right back up. One foot bounce, keep those legs moving. What great balance. Edger and James again. This time he stood up and taken down Mike Vrabel, former Pittsburgh Steelers linebacker. 
Came here as a free agent, had an opportunity to start third down linebacker last year. And you're going to see Mike Vrabel scrape from this side of the screen. Watch him come in there, stick his nose, number 50, bang, right inside, along with Teddy Bruschi. Defensive line for the Patriots doing a great job versus the line of the Colts, allowing their linebackers to roam free and make plays. We've seen it all day from Cox, Bruschi, Johnson, Vrabel, the whole gang of linebackers here for the Patriots. And it's kind of hard to put into words as Indianapolis picks up the first down what Edron James has been able to do in his first couple of years. Last year he became the only player in NFL history to post two career 1500 yard seasons rushing and a 500 yard re season receiving. Six players in NFL history have achieved the feat one time. Marcus Allen doing it one time with the Raiders. First and 10 from the 29. Play action, Manning looking backside for Payton. Throws it on a line. Payton with the catch down at the 10-yard line. Beautiful catch, beautiful throw, and a gain of 19. That's an unbelievable throw by Peyton Manning going back all the way across field. You talk about stepping into it and putting that thing on a line. And Terrell Buckley was playing off Jerome Payton, didn't want to give up the big play. Payton did a nice job coming out of his break, and Payton just stepped up and gunned that ball. First and ten. Rather first and goal from the ten. Manning looking. Decides to run. Manning smells the end zone. Touchdown Colts. A ten yard touchdown run for Peyton Manning. And Indianapolis on the board with 53 seconds to go here in the third. And you're going to see him. His receivers covered, doing a great job. But there's nobody underneath, and that's when Peyton Manning says, hey, I'm going to step up and run it. Big hole right there. Nobody ever came close to him. And you know what we were talking in the pregame show? Peyton Manning is faster than people think. He's got some quick feet. And they're going for one here, Gus, and I'm a little surprised because three touchdowns with two-point three, three, two conversions would give them the lead. Extra point is up and good. So the drive for Indianapolis, seven plays covering 64 yards, capped off by the 10-yard run by this man, Peyton Manning. This should, why didn't they go for two? Yeah, they don't want to well, show they the score coach another touchdown. Said. They got to score. I don't want to show the. I'm going to say it, but bro, they got to score another touchdown anyway. Yeah, but see, three eights gives you 24. Oh, 23 to seven, and you have a, a comment you want to make? Well, not that I'm an expert, but I would have gone for two, because three eights gives you 24. You're down 23 to seven. What does that do? Now the next two times you score, you got to go for two just to tie. Another look at the drive. So New England ready to receive. And we said that was going to be the most instrumental drive of the game. They had to put a touchdown on the board, and the Colts responded. And it looks like you're going to be carrying your own luggage. <laughs> yes, I will. I'm breathing a sigh of relief. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I had a feeling that Indianapolis would get on the board. Pretty hard to keep these guys scoreless. One of the marks of the, of the great teams of years past, Gus, is to come back and win games in which you've played poorly. And the Colts haven't really played too sharply today. And so, if you're gonna have a championship team, you gotta win the games where you play bad. Bernie Kukar directing traffic. <laughs> and I think Bernie wants a mulligan. Well, that's three times. I don't know if I've ever seen three redos on the kickoff. I've seen two a lot, but three is an awful lot. Temperature dropping here in New England. 56 degrees at kickoff time. 
Steady wind. Looks like it's up to about 30 miles per hour now. So here we go. Edwards from the 15. Mark Edwards runs it up to the 37 yard line, a 22 yard return. Corey Bird with the special teams tackle. Saturday, it's a doubleheader dose of SCC excitement. First, the Georgia Bulldogs roll into Rocky Top to take on Tennessee. Then, the LSU Tigers put out the unwelcome mat for the Florida Gators, the Home Depot SEC football doubleheader style. Saturday, right here on CBS Sports. First down and 10 for Tom Brady and the Patriots. A 23 to 7 lead. Antoine Smith can't get outside and he's wrapped up. Rob Morris, the middle linebacker. Now what you're looking for here, Gus, if you're the Patriots, of course you'd like to score every time you get the ball, but you're looking for two first downs. You want to move the chains, chew up some clock, and keep the Colts offense from having that momentum coming right back onto the field. And Indianapolis, rather, New England will allow the clock to run out and have the wind at their backs for the fourth quarter. And that is the end of the third quarter with the score, New England 23, Indianapolis 7. We'll return to Foxborough Stadium right after this word from your local station. We got to sit down. But whatever. Thirteen points for New England in the second quarter of play, and the Patriots lead it, 23 to seven. Here's Brady. Throws underneath, almost intercepted by Peterson, but he picked it up off the feet. Gus Johnson, Brent Jones, what do you think? Well, huge third down play coming up right now. The Colts have got to make a play on defense, stop, get the Patriots to punt, and get that momentum that they had on the offense back on the field. A little more Edger and James, I think. You saw him make some plays coming out of the backfield. And you know they can score points in bunches. You know that they can. So the defense trying to get them the ball back. Third down, 11 from the 37. Play action, Brady. Going down the middle. Is it gone? Yes, it is. David Patton. And Brady threw a frozen rope. 17 yard gain. California cool. Watch the 
deep over route. David Patton coming back to the ball, hanging on, making a big play. And we talked about the Colts having to step up on third down, third and 11. That was advantage Colts, and Brady just picked him apart. First down, 10 from the 46. Patton in motion. Brady to pass once again, sets up the screen. Antoine Smith makes Peterson miss. Look at the burst of speed. Smith down inside the 10. Chad Cota with the saving tackle. And the Patriots say we aren't finished. And the Brady sisters are fired up as well. Great call, screen pass, and this is the old Antoine Smith. You see him make Mike Peterson Smith down the sidelines. How about the center, Damian Woody? 30 yards downfield getting a block. And it comes back up to that third and 11. That was the time for this Colts defense. If they have a chip on their shoulder, step up and show somebody that you are a strong defense. Talk is cheap in the NFL. 38-yard game. Kevin Kevin Falk with the touchdown. Patriots have some pep in their step now as they take a 29 to 7 lead. Extra point up and good. Tom Brady, first career start in the NFL. Kevin Falk cutting back right outside. Dances right into the end zone, not even touched. How can you not even touch anybody? And here's Belichick. You think coach gets fired up? It's over. It is over. We played this team in what, four weeks? Two weeks. Rebound game. What? Let's, let's get let's get a shot. Let's get those guys some pub the right time. I want the uh, high ends and I want the I want to see uh, and juicy. All right, can you hear me? These are man eaters today. Show it one more time so I can see it. Ooh, look at those holes. Seven. Kevin Falk with the touchdown for the New England Patriots. And the scoring drive, five plays, 62 yards. An eight-yard touchdown for Falk. Tom Brady's got a big smile on his face. First career start. His sisters are here in attendance. His dad unable to make the trip because he has an injury, an injury to his side. Wanted to be here. Usually travels to every game his son plays, but he's at home watching. His parents, Tom and Galen, are home right now, admiring the great work of this offensive line. Watch this, Rod Rutch, Rutledge, Greg Randall Robinson, and this whole crew right here. Big Joe Andruzzi, watch this hole. 
And Robinson Randall, man, what a great job there with Jeff Rutledge on the double team. Opening up the whole right side for Kevin Falk to go in untouched. Sisters enjoy it. Indianapolis takes over at their own 20. Here's a reverse. Smelled out. Driven to the ground. Guess who? The star of this game, Brian Cox, who set the tone on the first possession of the afternoon when he drilled Jerome Payton. Here comes Brian Cox. Right now, he smells reverse right into the backfield. Bang. Get your hands in there, get your legs in there, trip up Payton. And the penetration this Patriots defensive line is starting to get here in the second half is significant. Second and 18 from the 12. Manny. Throw it. Picked up again. Still running to Bucky Jones. Manny making tie line. Ty Law, second interception, return for a touchdown today. 23 yards. Watch Peyton Manning, he's gonna make this throw. Outside to Dilger, he's gotta get his head around. Doesn't do that, Law. Now watch when Law falls down. All the page, all the Colts stop. They all stop, then you gotta keep going. There's nobody over here to keep swarming to that ball. Second time today, the, page, the Colts offense didn't get to an interception. Extra point up and good. Wow. They are celebrating in New England. Four turnovers today for the Colts. And the Patriots take a 37 to 7 lead with 12.24 to go. Just when I praise it, he drops the ball. Just when I'm praising him. Who? Your boy here, Big Papa. Uh, I guess I'm out. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, my Eagles got to win tonight. Who did Sam take? Who did Sam take in the pool? He took, uh, he took uh, Philly and somebody. Who does Oakland play tonight? Today. Wow, look at this. Unbelievable. Hey, how about that offense? They gave up both times on those interceptions. You should say that. You should say that. I just did. Yeah, show it again. Yeah. No, what you need is the all 22. Watch everybody stop. Yeah. Let's see. How about Dilger? That's the third ball he's dropped today. We've had him. He's never caught a ball or hung on to it. Every game I've ever had him. To seven, Terrence Wilkins returning it, and to Bucky Jones almost takes his head off. The old Dick Knight Train Lane clothesline for Bucky Jones, illegal in the NFL now, and that will be a penalty going against New England. 24-yard return.
Face mask. The official call. And New England's had a few inopportune penalties, Personal but. Ball. Grabbing, pulling on the face mask. 34, 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. First down. The penalties haven't really mattered. Yeah, and that's pretty flagrant right there. And you see him taking the shot. And yeah, that's, that's no call for celebration. If you tackle a guy legitimately, but Bucky's got to know better than that. First down and 10 from the 46 yard line for the Colts, down 37 to 7. Edger and James over the left side with a lot of running room. James knocked out of bounds to Bucky Jones getting to him. Don't forget, we have a doubleheader for you today on CBS Sports. Most of you will see Baltimore and Denver. Brian Greasy leads the NFL in touchdowns with six, tied with Peyton Manning. And the other game, Cincinnati and San Diego, a battle of two unbeatens. Both teams 2-0. and oh. Second down and one from the 45. Edwin James again gets to the 40, flag on the play. Jesse Bruski with the stop. This is my fourth year at CBS. We have never pumped up a Cincinnati San Diego <laughs> game, and I love it. It's beautiful. Somebody's going to be 3 0. Holding 71 offense. That's a 10 yard penalty. Still second down. Colts pushed back Monday on CBS. The King of, the King of Queens surprises his wife with a birthday present she will never forget you'll have to see it to believe it Monday on CBS speaking of having to see it to yes, believe it I was just thinking of that this game right yeah I'm telling you we've seen the Colts run the ball in first and second down uh, 11 and a half minutes left in the game not a whole lot of time now 30 points down I think the running game's out the window second and 11 Manning Underneath finds James Edgerin looking tackled from behind at the 46 by Richard Seymour, their first round draft pick out of the University of Georgia. And Richard Seymour is going to be a force to reckon with in the coming years. Just kind of getting his win and getting into playing shape. But he's a hog. Edgerin James again. James starting to pile up the yardage now. 15 carries. 48 yards. Seymour in on the tackle again. First down and 10 from the 39. Clock still running. Manning. James once again. Edgerin James lowers his head. Terrell Buckley makes the tackle. A 15 yard pickup. And there's a happy man, RKK, Robert Kraft. His lovely wife, Myra, next to him. We had a chance to spend some time with the Kraft's dinner. Al Forno, the restaurant. Oh, it was a great Unbelievable. dinner. Unbelievable. Talked some great football and really enjoyed it. So with 10-17 to go in the fourth quarter, it's all New England so far. How did I pick the Colts? <laughs> I'm way out. Boom, boom, boom. You know what? Tell them their defense. Who? Defense. Who? Sucks. Sagio's. Sagio Zhao. How do you say his last name? Why don't you spell it? Why don't you put it on there? Sagio Jala. The conductor of the Boston Symphony. Yeah. Kind of got a Wolfgang. A Wolf 
Murphy looked good. Yeah. Is that really Romeo Cornell or is it Bill Belichick? <laughs> Romeo Cornell, the defensive coordinator for New England, has to be pleased with the way his team has played today. First and ten, though, for the Colts at the New England 25. Manny. Fires, Wilkins bobbles it and drops it. Peyton Manning's having a couple drops today and a couple of completions that were kind of bobbled around and turned into interceptions that are going to show up on his stats. Came into the game with four interceptions, six touchdowns, has thrown two today. Manning, the numbers 18 of 29, 171 yards. Make it three interceptions today. Flag on the play, Manny driven down. Anthony Pleasant tackling him. I think Brian Cox came across early, and the question is, was he drawn across? That's a scary thing to see as a quarterback. Yeah, Peyton Manning going down hard like that. And that whistle blows, those guys are supposed to hold up. Offside, 51 defense. Five yard penalty, still second down. With all the plays he's made today, we'll give him a free offside. Yes, he has been everywhere. Ubiquitous. Impressive work. Yeah. Thank you. Second down and five from the 20. You're always giving me a hard time. You know today. what? You gotta have some fun. When it's 37 to 7, you gotta have some fun. Go get it. Go get it. Here's Manning. Looking in the end zone. Incomplete. Ty Law one after his second. And a little confusion between Jerome Payton and Peyton Manning, Peyton pulling up right at the goal line. Looked like he's running that deep in route. And Peyton thought he was continuing to go. And ended up Ty Law looking like he was the intended receiver. Brings up third and five from the 20. Colts today two of eight on third down conversion. They need to go to the 15 for first down. Harrison in motion. Quick strike. This is Marcus Pollard. Picks up the first down and tiptoes out of bounds at the 10. Boy, and we haven't called a lot of Pollard and Dilger today. The two tight ends for the Colts that are so instrumental in that underneath passing game. I'll tell you and what, Ken Dilger has dropped about three balls today. Yeah, he not one of his better days. These linebackers for the Patriots doing a great job of holding these guys up. And look what we found. Sergio Zao is here. Conductor of the Boston Symphony. You like you like the symphony? No, it's not my thing. Yeah. Peyton Manning, incomplete. I do like Stevie Wonder though. Me too. <laughs> Manning, the frustrating affair continues. Peyton Manning and the Colts racked up 555 yards in offense last week. Peyton threw for 421. Today, 19 of 32, three picks, 180 yards, passive. And it wasn't like they came into this game overconfident. They knew they were coming into a hornet's nest. Peyton mentioned that right off the bat. So did Jim Mora, and just haven't been able to do anything about it. Manning again. Under pressure, sack, Anthony Pleasant. And the New England defensive line has been all over Manning today. That's the second sack. 98 at the bottom of your screen, Anthony Pleasant just running, running right over Tarek Glenn, pushing him back five yards and sacking his quarterback. And that's kind of been the day it's been 
for this offense for the Indianapolis Colts. Seventh sack given up by this Colts offensive line. Last year they only gave up 20. Third down and a long 16 from the 17. Manning into the end zone for Payton. Knocked away at the last moment. No flags on the play. Nicely done. And you see Leonard Myers get his arm up just, just at the last second. That's what you call turning and making a play on the ball. Ball coming right into your living room. Leonard Myers tipping it into your screen. And then hopping over the receiver. Pretty athletic move. So they're going to go for it on fourth down. They need 16 yards. The first down marker is at the one. Patriots call a timeout. 8.55 to go in the fourth quarter. New England leading Indianapolis 37 to 7. Woodshedding. <laughs> Hazed. Pledged. <laughs> <laughs> Omnipresent, bro. There you go. Oh, yeah. Brian Cox is the man. How could he get no calls? Uh, uh -huh. A Coke. A Coke. Yeah. I'm good, guys. Welcome back. They're playing Welcome to the Jungle by Guns and Guns and Roses on the loudspeaker right now. Fourth down and 16 for the Colts at their own 17. They need to go to the one yard line for a first down. Peyton Manning looking down the seam. Touchdown, Pollard. 17 yard touchdown. Well, the former basketball player out of Bradley. And we talked about Pollard being more involved, just coming across on the crossing route, doing a nice job of using his body versus Leonard Myers, who had just had that big break up in the corner of the end zone a couple plays ago. And this Colts team going for two. Keeps themselves in the game. Should have gone for two last time. But they didn't know that they'd be behind by 30 coming into this point in the game. Edgerin James lines up as the single setback. Here comes a blitz. Towards the corner, incomplete. Harrison, the intended receiver, had a step on Ty Law, but Manning couldn't put it in the perfect spot. And here's Marcus Pollard. Watch him come out here, run a deep cross route right at the goal line. Knows where he has to go versus number 25, Leonard Myers. Does a good job of using his body to shield the defensive backs from the ball and bounce in the end zone. Did you see the former basketball player get up and slam it home? Did not play college football. Pollard with the touchdown. 17-yard strike. 
His second receiving touchdown of the season. And the drive, 11 plays, 54 yards. They held it for 332. And Gus, 24 points down. In a perfect world, three touchdowns, three two-point conversions. There's nine minutes, eight minutes, 51 seconds left in the game. It's tough to kick it deep and to think that you're gonna not you're going to have enough time. So you almost have to think onside kick at this point if you want to really ch have a chance. Maybe a pooch, maybe try to drop it in around the 30, 35 yard line and get your team down there since Patriots don't have a whole lot of guys back. David Patton is back deep. I think the Patriots are expecting an onside kick. Got the hands team in. Probably the best opportunity is just give it that little pop. Trying to get it right on the numbers, about the 35, 40 yard line, and you've got your guys with momentum running downfield while everybody else is backpedaling or turning their backs and running, scrambling for the ball. Picked up at the 35 by Troy Brown. Brown goes out of bounds close to midfield. 13 yard return. Now tonight on the CBS Sunday movie, three brutal murders and a suspect behind bars. One lawyer says, He's guilty. One says he's innocent. Brian Dennehy and Mary Stuart Masterson star in the world premiere miniseries, Ed McBain's Three Blind Mice, tonight on CBS. First and 10 on the 48-yard line for Tom Brady and the Patriots. A handoff to Antoine Smith. Antoine Smith, the ball Brady replacing Drew Bledsoe at quarterback today. And he's done a fine job filling some very, very big shoes. There's Drew make, making his coaching debut today. He's helped Brady. I'm sure he's been instrumental in some of those calls with some of the things that are going down on the field, and style of defense, and what the offense can run. The last win without Bledsoe for New England, 1998 against San Francisco. And they're still throwing. Here's Antoine Smith. They won the game 24 to 21 behind Scott Zolak. Were you were you playing? Don't even try that. Oh, okay. no. I just wanted to make sure. I was working with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> so a first down for the Pats. 740 and counting, and the numbers for. Tom Brady, 12 of 22, 140 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. And he's made big plays on third down. He's got the ball in the hands of his receivers, been very accurate today, and done a nice job managing the offense. Here's the handoff to Smith. And Smith gets inside the 35, Mike Wells with the tackle. Bob Kraft, the owner, happy about the way his team is playing right now, but even happier about what's happening. He looked, he looked very much like our tour guy the other day in the new stadium. Yes, this is a shot of the new stadium, construction underway, right next door to Foxborough Stadium. And it's got a little bit of everything, folks. Beautiful inside. And it's gonna be a, a fun place to go watch a ball game. Second and six from the 33. The pitch to Falk. And Kevin Falk stumbling. Let's take a look at the animation here. And this is what it's going to look like. A little bit of everything. And I like how it was rounded off. It, it was spectacular. Rounded seating. I think Bob Kraft has thought of everything. And I mentioned our tour guide. He was our tour guide for two hours. Showed us everything. Uh, most impressed, though, with the blue steel that he had the foresight to order here a couple years back. And the uh, Canadian blue steel. Canadian blue steel. 
and what a what a generous man giving up a couple hours of time to take us around and show us all the nuances of his spectacular new stadium third down at six from the 33 and Falk will not pick up the first down Juki Wakori with the tackle and this stadium a little bit more expensive than Foxborough <laughs> Built back in 1971. <laughs> you think? A little bit. $325 million. However, you do have more chair back seats. There you go. That's very impressive. No bench seats, as you can see. And, and Bob Kraft talked a lot about the loyalty of the fans here. And, and he's going to just be so excited to give them a great new stadium and a legacy. New England going for it on fourth down. Fourth and three. Brady. Looks backside, great toss, great catch, great run! There he goes! Fox sprinting down at the two! The kid has made some big plays today, folks! And that's a 28-yard gain. Patriots running the throwback screen. Watch Brady get out, but watch Falk get up and get that ball. And watch Matt Light, 72. He just blocks the whole defense for the Colts right down the field. Freeze up that lane for the screen pass. And look at the determination on Falk's face, getting down there, making it happen. And I can't tell you how impressed I've been, not only with Falk, Antoine Smith, but how about the rookie at left tackle, Matt Light? Tom Brady calls a timeout. Yes, Matt Light wears number 72, and he's a first round draft, second round draft pick, rather, out of Purdue. 48th overall blocked for Drew Br Drew Brees last year so you know he knows how to pass block yes he does but his run blocking has been impressive today tonight on 60 minutes how prepared are we for a biological or a chemical attack but the man who briefs the president brief you tonight on 60 minutes followed by Richard Dreyfus in the education of Max Bickford then Brian Dennehy stars in the world premiere mystery Three Blind Mice. It's all here tonight on CBS. Don't forget, coming up next, game two, most of you will see Baltimore at Denver. Others will see a battle of the undefeated teams, Cincinnati and San Diego. Doug Flutie. But they know about him around here, right here in New England. Doug that just, Flutie. That just sounds so weird to say undefeated Cincinnati and San Diego. <laughs> I couldn't get over that. Yeah, they know Doug Flutie. Flutie flags. The little general. And this guy has been a general for his team today, Tom Brady. First down and goal at the Indianapolis 2. Running hard once again is Antoine Smith. Leaping forward, Chuki Wakori making the tackle. And we've talked about the Patriots coming into the game 0-2, but they've had a couple of close games. They were in both of those games, could have easily won both. Versus the Bengals on opening day and 23-17, yeah. 10 to 3. You know, should have won both those. Brian Cox begging Bill Belichick to get in on offense. And lead blocker, maybe he can get the ball. Give it to Brian. Give it to him. But they give it to Smith. He gets an opening. Touchdown. Guess who led the way? He's doing it on offense. He's doing it on defense today. Brian Cox. Nice lead block. Antoine Smith gets in the end zone, and the Patriots have racked up 43 points. Let's check out the big fullback. Let's see him get into the line of scrimmage. Chad Coda, bang! And look at Antoine Smith effort, and that's the old Antoine Smith, and that's got to be the greatest sign for New England fans today. Antoine Smith is making some things happen out on the field. Smith, 23 carries. 98 yards and a couple of touchdowns. Extra point is up. It's good. And the New England Patriots lead it 44 to 13 with under four minutes to go. Look at this big fullback, number 51. Laying the wood on Chad Coda. You know where that goes to next, of course. Where? He wants the ball. He wants to catch a pass. Created a monster. Great oh. block. Uh, he made 
made some contact, but he also got knocked back a little bit. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you know the guys are going to be on him a little bit. You know, you're supposed to hit the guy and have the defensive guy fall the other way. Last couple of weeks for Antoine Smith, 21 carries, 53 yards. Different story this afternoon. 98 yards rushing. And we've seen what Antoine Smith can do when he has confidence. Back to those years in Buffalo. And the, the Patriots sorely in need of a running game. And, and it has come out in full force today against this Colts defense that I guess they're going to continue to have a chip on their shoulder. Well, they should. Adam Venetary tees it up at the 30. Terrence Wilkins back deep. Last time New England scored 40 points in a game happened in 1998 against Kansas City. It's 40 to 10. Now, this isn't just a loss for the Colts. It's a beating. Certainly is. That's an embarrassment. You know that Jim Moore is going to use this against them. Chink in the armor, man. Well, they sure certainly weren't overlooking this game. They knew it was going to be a tough game, but nobody thought this was going to happen. Adam Vinatieri sends it away. Wilkins from his own goal line. Wilkins hit hard and taken down. Nice job done by Larry Izzo, a special teams ace. And he'll head down to Miami to play against his former team next week, the Miami Dolphins. He went to the Pro Bowl on special teams last year. And here comes a new quarterback, Mark Rippon. He's a backup, former Washington Redskin, out of Washington State, Super Bowl MVP. Peyton Manning done for the day. Rippon will start first down and 10 at his own 14. He hand it off. Rhodes in the game now running the football. Dominic Rhodes, a rookie from Midwest Texas State. Peyton Manning, the numbers 20 of 34, under 200 yards, a touchdown, and three picks. Well, like we said earlier, it's going to say three picks, but a couple of those weren't necessarily his fault. Ripping the pass underneath, caught at the 26. And that's Trevor Inslee. And Mark Rippon's from my era. You know, I played in the East-West Shrine game with him coming out of college. In fact, he split my finger through the hardest ball I've ever caught in my life and split the webbing between my pinky finger and wow. my other finger. Had to have six stitches. Won a Super Bowl with the Redskins when they defeated Buffalo. And Joe Gibbs was his coach. Mark Rippon. Second down and one from the 36. Approaching the two minute warning. Here's the handoff. Rhodes once again. And that will take us to the two minute warning. The two quarterbacks smiling on the sideline. New England up big. What? He got jacked up. <laughs> yeah, Jack Coda just like ran over him. What's the score? What's the score? 42 to 10, Rams over the Dolphins. Yeah! Just remember, I picked the Rams and the Broncos in the Super Bowl, so I don't care. Is Buffalo winning? Is Buffalo winning? Oh, you know what? Pittsburgh, Buffalo. They lost 20 to 3. Rob Johnson. No, they haven't scored a touchdown all year, have they? Yeah, they scored a lot last week. Oh, okay. <laughs> Marvin, uh, Marvin Lewis should be happy that he didn't take take that Buffalo job. Yeah, I'm kidding. Man, I'm cold. My mouth started freezing. 
Mark Rippon was out of football for what, four years? I don't even know. Yeah, his, his wife was sick. I think his wife had cancer. Another, yeah, yeah. Another Washington died. Oh, really? She was a Washington Redskins cheerleader. <laughs> Look at those guys, man. They're having a great time. Wow. The AFC East standings, Indianapolis will fall to two and one, and New England gets a win. And they improve to one and two. They'll take on Miami today. I mean, next week, who today got leveled by the Rams in Miami next weekend. Don't forget, coming up next, Baltimore at Denver or Cincinnati at San Diego. Stay tuned. Be interesting to see that Baltimore-Denver matchup in Denver. I'm thinking the Ravens are struggling a little bit. Yeah, Elvis Gerback throwing the ball 63 times last week. Wow. Gonna have to have some receivers step up and start making some plays. No Jamal Lewis out for the year, and the Broncos could uh, run up the score there. Speaking of running up the score, here's Rippin to the sideline. Pollard bobbles it and drops it. So the Colts will have a bye next week. Then they will take on Oakland and New England. At home, followed by trips to Kansas City and Buffalo. Those are records on the right coming into today's game. Jim Mora, headset off. He knows this one is done. A minute 51 to go. So the Patriots, led by this man here, Brian Cox. Pick up their first win of the season. Uh, over the middle, it's caught. Marcus Pollard once again. <laughs> Willie McGinnis, defense playing great football today. Playing with reckless abandon. Next week, they'll travel to South Florida and take on the Miami Dolphins. Then at home against San Diego, Doug Flutie coming back to New England. And that will be a spectacle. Rhodes down at the 35, a minute 13 to go. But Brian Cox would tell you when he hit Payton in the first quarter of play early, seems like everything was good from there for this New England squad. He really just pounded him. Nobody wanted to go across the middle after that. The you whole saw, game. You saw the receivers looking up to check where Cox was. 11 tackles for Brian today. Don't forget, coming up next, more football on CBS Sports. The Baltimore Ravens, the defending Super Bowl champions, take on the high-powered Denver Broncos led by Brian Greasy. Or it's Cincinnati, Corey Dillon and company taking on Doug Flutie and the San Diego Chargers. And Charlie Weiss, boy, he can sit back and relax right now for a few hours before having to think about Miami next week. And he is happy with his quarterback and the way the offense ran the football today. Rhodes running. New England today rushed for 176 yards. The Colts, 81. And Antoine Smith getting back in the form. Remember, he told us a couple of weeks ago if he can get it 22 times a game, he'll show you what he can do. And another tough hit. Wow. This time, Myers. Patriots refuse to stop hitting. This Colts team will know they played a game when they wake up tomorrow morning. Timeout on the field. Smith, 23 carries, 98 yards. Tom Brady, 
13 of 23, 168, no touchdowns, no interceptions. And the New England defense, fine job bottling up Peyton Manning, Edron James, and Marvin Harrison. Three catches, 50 yards for Marvin. James, 16 carries, 55 yards. And we've told you about Peyton Manning's numbers. Not a factor today. Griffin looking into the end zone, maybe an interception. Knocked out of bounds. Otis Smith to Bucky Jones in on the play. Payton getting up slowly. Well, these are the times you got to have your starting wide receivers out of there. If the game is over and you can't take a chance on losing your big number two wide receiver going up for a jump ball. Ooh, Ooh his knee, knee comes back and you just pray that Jerome Payton's okay because what a senseless injury that would be. There's just no reason to have your, your number one guys in there right now. What a great young man he was to speak with. Very nice young just man. Just a, a great hard worker and really kind of coming into his own and just excited to be involved in this high-powered offense. And let's just hope that that was a light sprain because it sure didn't look very good. Born in Cape Town, South Africa, left when he was five years old to go to Vancouver. Father in the drafting business. Also, he was a good long jumper, qualified for the Canadian Junior National Team. And as you mentioned, Brent, he is coming into his own second round pick out of Washington. 32 seconds remaining. Ripping out of the shotgun. Here's Ripping. Fires Ken Dilger. The executive producers of the NFL on CBS, Sean McManus and Terry Ewart. The coordinating director is Larry Cavalina. Today's game produced by Robert Herman Monsbach and directed by Steve Milton. The senior producer of the NFL today is Eric Mann and the director is Bob Matina. The coordinating producer of CBS Sports is Harold Bryant. The associate director of today's game was Sean Robbins and the broadcast associate, we call him the Duke, Joel Ducart. Russ Delenn on stats, Ben Calhoun, our spotter. Ripping sacked once again. Nicely done, Riddick Parker. And Bill Belichick can breathe a little easier. Outstanding performance by the New England Patriots. First start for Tom Brady. First win for Tom Brady. Didn't make any mistakes. Ripping again underneath Pollard. Pollard down at the 15 yard line and that'll do it. The final score from New England. Patriots 44, Colts 13. Peyton Manning and the Colts fall to two and one. And the Patriots get their first win of the season one and two they'll travel to Miami next week final thoughts well I think it just is shocking to everybody and just very impressed with the line play of the New England Patriots both on the offensive and defensive side of the ball how about that running game Antoine Smith and, and Tom Brady just being California cool just like he was when we talked to him final score 44 to 13 we'll be back to wrap it up right after this Turn it, turn it up, barely. Turn up the volume. Hey, Brian, can you hear us? Gus Johnson and Brent Jones. Yep, I can hear you. What's man, you were laying the wood today. Well, man, we just wanted to come out and play physical, man. But that's what we're going to talk about, so save your thought. But yep. Congratulations. Now, this was a fun game to watch. Thank you. So we'll be back in one minute. Okay. 
Was that the first play of the game that you hit Payton? Uh, yeah. First or second? Yeah. 